Hello from Lloyd BMW South Lakes. Um, a little bit of a very nice looking one series we have for you today. It's a 118i Shadow Edition. So the Shadow Edition gives you the uh, black grills, which against the uh, metallic black on this car, I think uh, look absolutely uh, stunning. Um, you then get the diamond cut 18 inch wheels. So you've got a gloss black wheel, which has then been diamond cut to give it that uh, silver two-tone finish. Uh, you also get the upgraded M Sport brakes, which is distinguished with the blue brake calipers and the, uh, the M badge on there as well. You also get privacy glass, which is on the, obviously the back windows. Just come around and show you that. Uh, then inside the car, you get black Dakota leather. zoom in and this one also then has the contrast blue stitching which I think looks really really nice get the, the M Sport colours in there as well uh, being the sports seats you get the bigger bolsters on each of the sides there uh, you also get the extendable under thigh support so just that pulls out like so being a shadow edition you also get the uh, excellent Harman Kardon speakers so if you're into your music and stuff like that it's really uh, worthwhile having those electric windows all around and you can lock the ones out in the rear um, and electrical adjustable uh, mirrors on there as well for you right let's get inside the car and get us started um, so foot on the brake because I've got the keys on me it's a keyless start so foot on the brake press the start button and the car starts um, this car hasn't done too many miles, uh, so let's go through. There you go, 7,784 miles, uh, this car. Um, this car's also, as a sort of optional extra, been fitted with the professional satellite navigation system. So this gives you the bigger screen. Um, so the standard screen's eight, sorry, standard screen 6.5 inch. With this one, you're getting 8.8 uh, .8 inch. So uh, once you've had the bigger screen, you probably don't want to go back to the uh, to the smaller screen. Uh, usual features on there. Obviously, you've got the sat nav on there. You've got digital radio on there. You've got um, your your Bluetooth on there. Um, what else you got on there? So there's your media. There's your um, Bluetooth. You've got your nav. Connected drive, quite a nice app to have. You can download the app to your phone so you can track where your car is, etc. Um, and then obviously any notifications come up on there as well. Uh, right, so a couple of air vents underneath here, uh, hazard warning lights, uh, central locking you've got on there. Then you've got the favourite buttons, you've got eight favourite buttons. You can assign these to almost whatever you want. Um, so on my car, I've got uh, my uh, phone numbers that I, I dial the most as uh, saves kind of over this end. Uh, I tend to put radio stations in the middle and then over this end I tend to put destinations, so like home address and work address. That way uh, I don't have to mess around going through the menus. I can just press one button, um, especially if you're going home at night, press one button, tell it you're going home. Uh, and then because it's got real-time traffic information, it'll tell me whether the motorway is closed or there's any delays or it'll uh, redirect me on the, uh, on the uh, fastest route. Uh, coming down, you've got air conditioning. Um, just a little button here, so you can turn the air con on, air con off. Uh, and then you've got climate control. So once you've set the temperature, so it's 22 degrees, once you've set the temperature, it'll maintain that temperature. Uh, also, uh, optionally, uh, as an extra fit to this car, is the heated seat. So you've got a three-stage heating. Um, three tends to be very hot. Um, two still seems to be quite hot, and then obviously uh, one. A um, little bit of extra storage here as well. Um, you've got 12 volt supply. So you want to charge anything up. Um, obviously cup holders in there. Traction control button, and then you've got your driving mode. So we can get that in focus. So you've got sports mode where um, it'll hold onto the gears for longer. It sharpens the throttle response, uh, and that comes up on the displays there. In the middle is comfort, which is kind of the balanced one where when you start the car, it's where it starts off as. And then you can come down from there to Eco Pro. Eco Pro will then save you some fuel, uh, but the car will feel a bit more sluggish. Eight speed automatic gearbox in this car. And you also have the choice of controlling those gears manually as well as letting the car just decide for you. Um, so, button in on the side, 
pull it back, puts it in drive mode, and then you can slide it across, and then you can change gear up and down by flicking it backwards and forwards. Um, behind that, you've then got the eye controller. So the eye controller, is, can, you can zoom in, zoom out. So you can see there, we're in the north of England, northwest, and we're just on the edge of the uh, uh, southern edge of the Lake District. Um, if you want, want to come and visit us. Uh, the big um, control you can also write on there. So if we go across to destinations, um, enter a new destination, uh, destination input, uh, tell you which country we're on. Yeah, well. So United Kingdom and then postcode. Um, so you can use voice input or you can use the rotary dial to select or you can write. So not my neatest oh, no. writing. A. A. Uh, and that's simply by drawing it on here. One. One. Six. Q. R. There you go, the postcode here. Select enter, and then it'll take you there. Uh, so that's really nice. Uh, I think BMW's probably got the best system out there for um, sat nav um, controlling everything through this uh, eye controller. Really easy to use. This car's got the brushed aluminium trim, so you've got it on the center console, on the door handles, and on the uh, dashboard. And then it's got a gloss black uh, finish to the uh, to that brushed aluminium. Center armrest lifts up, and then you've got additional storage in there and a USB port. Manual handbrake with the uh, the one series M Sport steering wheel, really nice with these little thumb hooks as well. And this side you've got the speed limit, so great for average speed cameras um, on the motorway. Get to a 50 mile an hour zone, you can then limit your speed to 50 so you don't get a ticket. Uh, you've also got cruise control as well. The cruise also has a brake function, so if you're coming downhill, it won't let the car run away. It will then start operating the brakes to keep it at the speed you've set it at. Over this side, you've got voice control. So again, you can uh, command the car that way. You've got your phone, you can answer, put the phone down. And then you've got different modes, so you can select between CD player, Bluetooth, change radio stations over here, and then you've got volume. Electric wipers on this car. So you've got electric, sorry, automatic wipers. Of course, they're electric. Um, so again, you can uh, choose to operate them manually or you can just set it on automatic. And the same if I come down here for the headlights, get that in focus. So you can select the headlights manually or you can just leave it to sort itself out. And then you've got your, just next to it, your uh, front and rear fog light switches as well. You also can adjust the um, beam, so if you're towing something heavy in the boot, then you may want to lift the, uh, the beam up a little bit, and then you've got the instrument brightness next to it on that turning wheel. Uh, I think I already mentioned the excellent Harman Kardon sound system in this car. Um, and then the other nice feature which BMWs come with is this SOS button up here. If you need the emergency services, you can dial BMW emergency services by pressing this button and then tell them if you would need fire, ambulance, uh, whatever you, uh, you need. Um, if you're unfortunate enough to have an accident and the airbags are deployed, because it's got sat nav in here and GPS, uh, the emergency services will be alerted to the fact that you've had an accident where the air airbags have, uh, have deployed. So if you're unconscious in the accident, it's just a really nice safety thing that you know that there's help on its way to you. Right, let's have a look at the rest of the car. Just knock that off. So plenty of room in the back of this one series. Got a little bit of extra storage in the middle there and another 12 volt supply. You've got three seat belts, three headrests. Obviously, the one in the middle gets the short straw, um, not quite as much room as the outer two. Privacy glass, I think we've talked about. You've got the lovely diamond cut wheels coming around the back. You've got a slightly different, dark, like dark grey diffuser on the, on the 1 Series M Sports. And then uh, Nice big boot on these as well. A little bit of storage on that side behind the net. And then you've got the split rear seat as well. There 
there we go so with the black interior the black outside the black grills really uh, really stunning car just love the uh, little M Sport badges and the blue decorative stitching on these uh, it's a really nice touch And there you have it, our 118i that's currently up for sale. If this is of interest, then uh, give us a shout. Uh, always happy to arrange any test drives or anything like that. And thank you very much for, uh, for watching.